March is here. The year is cruising along. Are we making the most of the opportunities we get every day? The present is now. Time to turn it over and get into faith. Firm belief in something for which there is no proof. Yet, when we have real faith, we feel absolutely positive about it. First, we'll start with a serenity prayer. Today's reading from the 24 Hours a Day book, a share, then the reading again in case you got distracted. Carpe the diem. Enjoy. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Consider, are we happy with God's slow solution to all our problems? March 14th, thought for the day. Can I get well? If I mean, can I ever drink normally again? The answer is no. But if I mean, can I stay sober? The answer is definitely yes. I can get well by turning my drink problem over to a power greater than myself, that divine principle in the universe, which we call God, and by asking that power each morning to give me the strength to stay sober for the next 24 hours. I know from the experience of thousands of people that if I honestly want to get well, I can get well. Am I faithfully following the AA program? Meditation for the day. Persevere in all that God's guidance moves you to do. The persistent carrying out of what seems right and good will bring you to that place where you would be. If you look back over God's guidance, you will see that His leading has been very gradual and that only as you have carried out His wishes, as far as you can understand them, has God been able to give you more clear and definite leading? You are led by God's touch on a quickened, responsive mind. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may persevere in doing what seems right. I pray that I may carry out all of God's leading as far as I can understand it. The delusion that we can drink like normal men has to be smashed. It has to be eradicated if we are to live. Getting well, getting healthy, does not mean drinking socially like normal people. It means staying away from that which we know will get us killed. We have countless examples in our lives of times we should have died or ended up in more serious jackpots. Some of us have suffered legal and financial problems because of our drinking. Even that was not enough to get us to stop because we cannot stop on our own. We need help. Trying to drink like a normie is playing God in the face of knowing we have never done it successfully when we clearly know we are not God. Far from it. We are strong when we are happy to be one of God's creatures, a single organism emanating from primordial ooze, as it says in the big book. We know we are powerless and we ask for help from our higher power. May we find him now. We are the lucky ones who are desperate enough to find and hold on to our higher power. We let him lead the way. We develop deeper faith and found it is the true power that saved us and can save anyone who suffers like we did. We are grateful for a very slow recovery. We wouldn't take a magic pill even if it existed and was offered. Our new way of life, slowly exposing itself to us through daily service to others and doing the next right thing, is what we were looking for all along. We didn't become the bust-out drunkards overnight, and we don't expect to be cured by flipping a switch. We like our new life the way it is unfolding like a lovely mystery because we know in our hearts and minds our higher power takes care of us with a little effort from us. We are happy to be of service to him and others. Consider, are we happy with God's slow solution to all our problems? March 14th, thought for the day. Can I get well? If I mean, can I ever drink normally again? The answer is no. But if I mean, can I stay sober? The answer is definitely yes. 
I can get well by turning my drink problem over to a power greater than myself, that divine principle in the universe, which we call God, and by asking that power each morning to give me the strength to stay sober for the next 24 hours. I know from the experience of thousands of people that if I honestly want to get well, I can get well. Am I faithfully following the AA program? Meditation for the day. Persevere in all that God's guidance moves you to do. The persistent carrying out of what seems right and good will bring you to that place where you would be. If you look back over God's guidance, you will see that His leading has been very gradual and that only as you have carried out His wishes, as far as you can understand them, has God been able to give you more clear and definite leading. You are led by God's touch on a quickened, responsive mind. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may persevere in doing what seems right. I pray that I may carry out all of God's leading as far as I can understand it. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.